Hey guys, Megan here. Um, so I did have a 38 week update video, but um, it was all screwed up and I apologize. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a new one. Um, basically, I'll be saying the same things that I had said in the last video, um, except I'll just make it a little shorter and sweeter and to the point um, so that it doesn't get cut off. What had happened was when I was processing it, um, it was uploading and everything and it was publishing and um, I don't know my computer just like froze so it didn't publish um, the entire video and I'm I'm so sorry but um anyway so I will fix that right now so I am 38 weeks and two days today and um, tomorrow is Tuesday and I have a doctor's appointment and I'm hoping they're gonna check me um, <laughs> um, so I'm hoping they're going to check me and I'm hoping that they're going to have some good news for me, like let, you know, that I've dilated or that, um, she's dropped more <laughs> or that I'm effaced. I don't know. So I just hope there's some progression, like keeping my fingers crossed. Um, so I've still been having a lot of contractions for the for the past three days now, all day, all night. Um, and what they feel like is um, my stomach gets really hard, but um, I also get, it's like a cramping feeling in my lower stomach, like a menstrual cramp. But um, it starts to climax to a point where it starts to burn down the top of my thighs. And, um, well, okay, let me start that over. So when I get the contraction, first I feel this pressure in my back. And it kind of radiates from my back to the front. And my stomach gets hard, and then I have that menstrual-like cramp feeling. And then it kind of radiates down my legs. Um, so that's what my contractions feel like. Um, and I'm assuming those are just Braxton Hicks. Um, but I've also, I don't know, I've kind of read that... Um, People have had contractions only in their back, back labor. People have had contractions in their legs, like that, just that burning feeling in their legs. Um, so I don't know, I think it's a little bit different from, for uh, everybody, but the majority, I think, um, it starts from the back and kind of radiates to the front and your stomach gets hard and you get that crampy feeling and it's just like a really bad menstrual cramp, kind of mixed with like a, a gas pain. Or like when you have, I know this is gross, but like when you have like really bad diarrhea and your tummy just hurts, it kind of feels like that mixed with a, a period cramp. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what mine have felt like. They haven't gotten to the point where I can't stand them, but they have gotten pretty painful. Um, and I'll have them for probably like three hours at a time, about five three to five minutes apart and then when I think okay I'll stop and time these as soon as I decide to start timing them they kind of stop and they don't come back for a few hours and so I don't know <laughs> what's going on but um so that's been happening and um, you know other symptoms just my boobs have been they hurt really bad um, she hasn't been moving as much. She's been moving. They've been very slow movements. Um, she's also been doing this like shaking thing. And I looked it up online because it kind of freaked me out. I was like, oh my God, is my kid having a seizure in my stomach? Because that's almost what it felt like was, it was like a shaking like that, like a convulsion, you know, like a, f a fluttering. I don't know. It was weird. And I knew it wasn't a muscle spasm, although I do get those up in my rib cage area but this was her um and so you know i looked it up online and you know people have said that it can be like they get their foot or something caught on something like the umbilical cord or your rib and they're trying to shake it loose <laughs> um also i read that um it could just be like the shivers or they're stretching you know when you stretch and you're you got to shake a little because you're stretching so good um so yeah, and I, and I texted my sister and I asked if her baby ever did that while she was pregnant. She's like, yes, it's fine. It's totally normal. Don't worry. Your baby's not having a seizure. Um, so that kind of reassured me. But still, 
when I go to the doctor tomorrow, I'm going to bring it up just because, you know, I'm a worrywart. And, and um, so hopefully he'll tell me it's normal and stuff. Um, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's interesting. It was something new. <laughs> um, uh, so let's see. She did that like four or five times last night, and then she's done it a couple times today. So um, I don't know. But yeah, my appointment's tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. So hopefully I'll have some good news. Um, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I am. <laughs> um, I had a horrible time last night. I did not sleep at all. I will tell you that much. Um, I went to bed about midnight, and my back was really, really hurting. My back, and I was having contractions that were pretty painful. Um, and I just was so uncomfortable. My pubic bone hurt. Moving any direction hurt so bad. Just trying to roll over. Um, and then laying on either of my sides, it was getting hard to breathe. Like I felt like everything was just being crushed. And um, so it was really frustrating me because I felt like I couldn't take a full breath in. And it started to you know, scare me and I started to panic and then I got upset and emotional and I just started bawling and um, yeah so it was a long night I didn't sleep at all um, my husband got home about four o'clock in the morning he thought I was still sleeping so he didn't come into the bedroom um, and I was just bawling my eyes out and I couldn't get up to go out in the living room to talk to him I just hurt so bad I didn't want to walk so I texted him and I was like, come say hi to me. And he came in the bedroom and I'm just sobbing and <laughs> just like this big blubbery mess. And um, anyway, so I vented to him and, and he comforted me and made me feel better. But uh, <gasps> still, um, I didn't sleep. Um, and we tried to stay up till like 8 o'clock because we were supposed to get paid. We were waiting for our paycheck to hit, and it never did. And we really need to go grocery shopping. And um, so anyway, we were both just exhausted. And finally, we went to bed about 9 o'clock in the morning and didn't get up till about 4 because <laughs> um, he had to go to work. But um, so, yeah, I've been up for about two hours. That's about it. Um... Yeah, it's just frustrating. I really want to be getting as much sleep as possible, as much rest as possible before the baby gets here because I know when she's here, I'm still not going to be getting any rest. So I'd like to be getting it while I still can, while she's still inside and while I have some control over everything. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Um, so anyway, those are just some things that have been going on. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Not much else I can think of. Um, oh, also, I think I have, no, I'm not going to talk about that. That's a little in-depth. If you want to know, uh, varicose veins, um, in a very private area, very painful. If anyone feels like they have a bruising or like they've been kicked in the crotch or something like that, it's probably varicose veins. They hurt very bad if you get them down there. Um, and I think that I have them because it hurts like crazy. Um, but anyway, I won't get into that too much. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. And I think I answered somebody's question that emailed me. I don't know how to pronounce Azure, A I S H, something like that. Um, Lana, Lena, um, I don't, I'm sorry, <laughs> brain fart right now. But uh, you wrote me an email about what contractions feel like. You said your, your right, whole right side hurt. Um, I don't know what that could have been, but it doesn't sound like it was a Braxton Hicks. Might have been, you know, everybody is different, but it doesn't sound like it. So, um, from what I explained, um, you know, in the beginning, like, it's more just a hardening of your whole stomach. Um, it just gets really tight, and they're not so much painful. Um, once you get further along, they can start to get really painful, and you get that menstrual, like, crampy feeling. 
I didn't actually start getting the menstrual crampy feeling until about 35 weeks. But before then, I was having Braxton Hicks, and it was just the tightening in my stomach. And they really weren't painful. They were just, I mean, they were just uncomfortable. So anyway, I hope that answers your question. Um, and I'll show you my belly real fast. And then um, if there's any news with my doctor's appointment tomorrow, I'll do an update tomorrow. So here's my 38-week belly. Eight weeks and two days. There's my baby. Ready for her to come out. You probably still can't see it. It was really bad on the other video, but the belly button trying to pop out. You can't see it on here, I'm sorry. But um yeah, it's really trying. <laughs> So, um, anyway, all right, that's my update. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm actually in a good mood today, um, which is odd just because I've been very irritable lately. But, um, yeah, so maybe I'll see you tomorrow for an update. If not, I'll see you back for week 39, unless I go into labor before then. So, bye.